My name is uh, Rhys Davies. I'm the coordinator for the Gold Room and services at uh, McRae's Mine in East Otago. My job is basically to uh, pour the gold and everything that it entails. So that's uh, maintaining the Gold Room, uh, working with CIO uh, Carbon and Leach and making sure that we efficiently plate the gold and pour the gold and get it, get it shipped out. There are forecasts and you know there's a t targets, there's very uh, finite or very uh, clear targets and it's always uh, satisfying if you can reach that target. In the normal course uh, we would uh, pour gold on a, a three days a week. Uh, we would harvest the wool for that gold um, the day before and if there is any uh, spare time it would certainly help on the plant uh, and they, they reciprocate, they, they help if we're we're, we're in need. Nothing's too hard. I think if, if things go wrong, things things break, and that you're working with people that uh, we all know that, and so no one's left left in the lurch. Um, everyone lends a hand. Uh, most people, everybody, I'd say, is pretty sensitive to what other people are, are dealing with, and it's it's a team. You don't know what you're going to be doing in any given day. You know things you have to get done, but you might be doing something completely different that you didn't know you were going to be doing the day before. Um, and that's a good thing. It, just, it keeps the job uh, very interesting and you never, you can never learn too much. It is, it is fun. Uh, I've poured a thousand bars and I've been on the front page of the paper holding a, holding a gold bar. I found a, a newspaper article and it had uh, 1989 uh, Otago Daily Times front page it had a mine and it was going to be open for seven to nine years and have 300,000 ounces and that, that was this mine and so that's quite incredible to know that they were planning on 300,000 ounces and here we are 30 years later and 5 million ounces plus so when they talk about the uh, future of mine, the life of mine um, it's quite believable to imagine that it'll be here well after I've, I've left. Some of the highlights um, that I was part of, I think, is the, the, the five millionth ounce, uh, the 10,000th bar. Um, it's just great to be here in, in, in relation to what the mine was initially uh, going to have. I think to be holding a, uh, a bar that contained the five millionth ounce is pretty pretty cool. If I had to talk to people about gold mining as a career, I'd say um, in particular McRae's, it is so varied. This plant has uh, so many aspects to it. I could probably list 50 to 100 different positions, different positions. So I, I, li I live in, uh, I live in Wakawaiti and so I, I love that place. I, I initially uh, lived there for the commute, quite close, but now in hindsight, five years on, I wouldn't live anywhere else. So it's really, really a nice place to live. Um, just a um, real great beach, great people, uh, climate, seems to have its own microclimate. I'm, I'm renovating a house, so that, that's absorbing pretty much all my time. Probably the most satisfying thing on the, on the drive home, I think, is having um, achieved um, an injury-free day, I think. I think that's important to the mind. I think everyone's conscious of, of that. And that you've achieved the, the forecast or you've done your best to achieve that forecast.